life cycle. Um, they kind of, they have a larval stage in their life cycle similar to the tadpole larva of a frog. And um, so the adults live on the bottom of the ocean and they move really slowly. So the reason why they don't just lay their babies is because if they did, then um, there would, the babies would just settle right where they were and they couldn't move away from each other. And there'd be a lot of competition for resources such as food and space. So instead, what they do is they release their eggs and sperm into the water column, and we're going to get them to release their eggs and sperm. And then the eggs and sperm will, the sperm will fertilize the egg, and then they're floating around in the ocean at this point, and then the embryo will hatch from the egg, and then they go through several stages of development floating around in the ocean. What's really cool about sea urchins is that the baby sea urchin will actually develop inside of the larva. And so this photo shows the sea urchin, the baby sea urchin that's developing inside of the larva, and they can grow up to eight arms. And then once it's ready to come settle back down on the ocean, the whole thing will come back down towards the ocean floor. and the baby sea urchin will feel along the bottom with a little tube foot, and then once it's found a good place to settle, it'll come out and then basically eat the eat the larva and then continue growing. So it's like it's pregnant with itself, and then it basically eats itself and then continues growing into the sea urchin. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're going to spawn this purple urchin. What we're going to do is, um, uh, Mr. Winnings and I are going to inject them with potassium chloride because that causes their gonad ducts to contract. And urchins are either male or female. They are not hermaphroditic. So we'll, but you can't really tell if they're male or female from the outside.